Good evening. Welcome to the Kingdom Cultural Center. Today we're going to talk about the right to be called a child of God, God's child. And by the way, um, we're not servants. You may serve, but you're not classified with that title servant. You're not servants. We are not servants. And um, the servants basically were in the Old Testament. Moses. Joshua, Elijah, all these are prophets. They were servants. Ruth, Deborah, Abraham, they were servants. And believe it or not, they were citizens. They were citizens of this planet Earth. See, after, after, man, after man had sinned, it became, he lost his relationship, he lost his standing out of Friendship. Some of you may have good friends and whatnot, but they may offend you in such a way or did something in such a way to you that uh, you want to distance yourself from them in any way possible that you wanted to do. Well, in this in in this segment in this session, I want you to know that there's the qualifications for you to be a child of God. You're citizens of the kingdom. And uh, if you accept Christ as your Lord and you accept his son. Now, but outside of that, now I know some of you, some of you go under the name of Christian. Uh, that has no bearing in the kingdom of, of, of God. It has no bearing because there's so many of you that claim to be Christians and your life is so dogmatic and so shabby that, you know, it has no effect. It's like having coffee. Some people like it black. Some people like it dark. Some people like a little milk, you know. But I want you to know the more milk you put into your coffee, the more weaker it becomes. Now, my wife, she's a, she's a coffee fanatic. You know, she, she, she loves her coffee. I know somebody, I had a friend, a good friend of mine, uh, when I was in an employment in New York, he loved his coffee black, no sugar. He liked it strong. That's the way I like the word. I like it strong. And you see, if you embrace the word and in, in, in truth, see, truth, whether you like it or not, truth is truth. There's one thing to do good, and there's another thing. To, 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 to just do right. Two different things. To give you an example of that, um, I used to get on the bus in New York, and I used to get up early in the morning, about 2.30 in the morning to catch the bus. And the bus used to stop in front of my house, and I would put my money in there. But it got to the point, and I, I was guilty of this, it got to the point where when I got on the bus, the bus driver wouldn't take my money. He would just get on. That was good for me. But was it right? No, it wasn't right. Due to the fact that he didn't own the bus line. He was just an employee of the city. See, there's one thing to be good, one thing to be right. But I want to tell you something. When you walk upright and listen to God's word and obey it, the operative word, is to obey God's word. Then you're classified by the king as a child. Now let me read to you John, Constitution, first chapter in the 12th verse. Listen to what he says. But as many as received him, we're talking about Jesus the king, Jesus the Christ. As many as received him, to them he gave the right right standing to become children of God to those who believe in his name. You see, so all of those individuals, you can call yourself a child of God, you can call yourself Christian, you can call yourself, you can even call you a, a, a kingdom citizen, sure. But if you 
have not embraced Jesus the Christ, you're not worthy of that. You're not a child of God. So you just will get that in right now. This is not my idea, my ideology. This is God's word. So if you live any kind of old shabby life, you want to do what you want to do, you want to be a deviant, meaning homosexual or lesbian, you want to be sleeping with another man's wife or another, another woman's uh, uh, husband, you need to get a clue. Because you see, you're going to answer these very same words that I'm reading to you, they're going to answer, you're going to have to answer to them one day. So you just want to get it right. You see, today, you know, so many people have died without knowing Christ. Different languages, different cultures died without the, and I think about that from there, there's not a day now that goes by that I don't think about that your life is determined by how you live now on planet earth are you a child of the king or are you just a religious individual that attend church twice a week or once a week or once or you may be in catholicism you go and have another man and you tell him your sins which that is not biblical by the way that's why jesus died so you could go and tell him about your problems and confess your sins and he will forgive you not to another man i know somebody may not like this but get over it this is the word See, you need to stand firm on the individual that you believe in. Your faith, if it's not grounded in God's Son who gave his life, then the kingdom isn't for you. All you homosexuals, all you liars, all you individuals who, who, who have this desire for lust, the word says, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. I'm repeating what the king says. So you have to get a clue. He loves you. He loves you. But he does not love your behavior, the way you conduct yourself. As one time I once, some, one man said to me, are you feeling what I'm saying? For some of you that's listening to my voice right now and watching me, it may be the last time you have on planet Earth. But I'm telling you, Jesus loves you. He gave his life for you. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. He have a reward for you. And it's your job to embrace the kingdom of God. You won't have to be concerned about food. See, let me explain to you. Once you are in the kingdom, first natural, then spiritual, a king is in charge of all the land, all his land. And what it is, he takes care of all of his servants. But fortunately in this kingdom, we're not servants, we're sons and daughters. And he takes care of us. That was the problem with the children of Israel. It's amazing. He could take, God took the children of Israel out of Egypt. But he couldn't get Egypt out of the children of Israel. You accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior? You got to drop those habits. And it will be a process. This session is over right now, but I'll continue it in the next session. You have a nice time.